ओके सो पार्थ गुड मॉर्निंग एंड लेट्स रिकॉर्ड योर एंटायर सिलेक्शन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ आई टी बॉम्बे पी एच डी सो पार्थ थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर दिस टाइम यू गिवन मी थैंक यू सो मच सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर सो पार्थ नाउ आई स्टार्ट विद योर बैकग्राउंड सो फ्रॉम वेर यूर डन योर ग्रेजुएशन एंड विच पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया यू आर फ्रॉम एंड आफ्टर दैट यूर डन मास्टर्स ऑल्सो और इज इट डायरेक्ट पी एच डी एंड लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड बिफोर यू गो फॉरवर्ड ओके first of all i want to thank you sir to give me the opportunity to share my experience through this beautiful platform and my name is parth vaidya and i am from ahmedabad gujarat i did my uh, bachelor's in manu um, in mechanical engineering uh, in uh, ldrp institute technology private college in ahmedabad gandhinagar and uh, after i am a pass out of uh, 2018 mm. after that i prepared for gate examination and took the admission in svnit surat Uh, in uh, did my uh, uh, masters in manufacturing engineering mm. and having a cgpa of 9.45 mm. and i am a pass out in june in this uh, june 2021 and i applied in various iits in uh, Ju- uh, july intake also but mm. i unfortunately i didn't uh, get any iit but after that i tried in uh, winter intake and i got offer from uh, iit bombay and iit guwahati and i have accepted the offer of iit bombay for phd in mechanical engineering Okay, so so you, your specialization in mechanical is in which domain uh, part? Uh, manufacturing engineering. Sir. Manufacturing. So you completed it from uh, NIT Surat, right? NIT Surat, yes. Sir. NIT Surat. Okay, okay. And then uh, after that, you applied for summers also, but uh, in the winter you got IIT Bombay, which is the best one for you, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, that's great. So Parth, now tell us something about uh, the domain of your specialization in manufacturing. Manufacturing. Me, your project is domain me tha. Master. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, my project was uh, uh, my topic thesis topic was uh, regarding corrosion. Uh, okay. uh, topic name is corrosion bearer of nickel chromium molybdenum mm-hmm. tungsten bell overlay on SS three zero four using GMW process. The mm-hmm. so main objective is, uh, was to uh, reduce the corrosion of stainless steel pipes, which is used in oil and gas industries. And uh, another objective is fulfilled by uh, checking the wear behavior also and mm-hmm. the microstructure analysis. Mm-hmm. Parth, there is a corrosion department also in IIT Bombay. If I am not wrong, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Material, but uh, I uh, as I am I have uh, seen lots of your videos and I applied in mechanical and materials and both of so uh, um, maximize the chances uh, mm-hmm. and that because sometimes uh, uh, competition according to competition you have to apply in other departments yes. also because mm-hmm. uh, my research interest also uh, uh, revolves around the welding metallurgy and high entropy alloys also. I won mm-hmm. a conference publication uh, regarding mm-hmm. high entropy alloys. So mm-hmm. I uh, mentioned this all these things uh, mm-hmm. in my interview in IIT Bombay, mm-hmm. and uh, luckily I got it. अच्छा बात हमें कुछ NIT सूरत के बारे में भी बताओ. Please tell us about that also. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, taking about talking about NIT सूरत, there are actually five branches in NIT सूरत mm-hmm. in mechanical mm-hmm. engineering: general mm-hmm. mechanical uh, and uh, thermal. Uh, CAD CAM turbo and manufacturing engineering mm-hmm. so uh, i got admission in manufacturing engineering and uh, uh, talking about the placements the placements are average uh, mm-hmm. if we consider this 2 3 years mm-hmm. but it was uh, still good uh, mm-hmm. before 2019 and uh, mm-hmm. if if a student is taking admission in general mechanical branch then mm-hmm. it is having a fair chance to get the uh, uh, placement because he can sit in every Uh, department thermal manufacturing mm-hmm. and all the rest mm-hmm. but if uh, any particular specialization there is a minimum chances mm-hmm. so so you know i was just interacting with one of the students who just got into iit roorkee and iit bombay for phd and uh, he was telling me that uh, he did his uh, uh, mtech from nit karnataka and he was telling me that uh, placements are depends upon your efforts also in mtech because uh, yep. college fights for btech placement but for mtech kya hota hai ki tum industries ko khud bhi approach karte ho and that is how it goes and he was saying ki sir humne fight mara tha aur us time pe placement ho gaya tha hum, hum bachon ka to uh, jo student bolte hain ki nit iit mein placement ka problem ho sakta hai wo mtech ke level pe agar tum uh, shuru se active ho aur tum shuru se uh, uh, fight maro placement ke liye to ho jata hai what is your view uh, related to this? Def- definitely sir definitely yes, bahut sare aise students hai mere class mein bhi aur kafi departments mein jinka yahi goal hai ki mujhe placements mil jaye to agar Sahi. placements ke liye companies to aati hai par hmm. ye chance compared to btech slightly kam hmm. hote hai but hmm. if a student is genuinely trying for the placements from hmm. first semester and making hmm. his resume hmm. in that way Mm-hmm. Uh, then definitely he will get uh, the mm-hmm. placements mm-hmm. and placements so hai aisa nahi hai par mm-hmm. kam 
कंपेयरिंग टू पर ये है कि जैसे अगर तुम चाहो तो कंपनियों को बुला भी सकते हो कोऑर्डिनेटर बन सकते हो प्लेसमेंट सेल के yes, और प्लेसमेंट ऑफिसर yes, के साथ मिलके काम कर सकते हो कि हमें कंपनीज को बुलाया जाए हां सर ये चीज भी हो सकता है राइट हां सर ये होता है पीएन पे कोऑर्डिनेटर बन के आप अप्रोच कर सकते हो इनिशिएट कर सकती हो चीजें और काफी कंपनीज ट्राई भी करती है बट बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोरोना स्लाइटली इट इज चेंज्ड बट इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन योर एफर्ट्स हम्म पर मतलब ये नहीं कि नहीं मिलेगा अगर चाहोगे तो मिल सकता है राइट डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली मिल जाता है ग्रेट अच्छा पार्थ अब ये बताइए कि व्हाई व्हाई नो यू डिसाइडेड टू गो फॉर पीएचडी आफ्टर दिस एमटेक सर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन इन एकेडमिक्स एंड फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग माय आफ्टर द बीटेक एंड माय एमटेक आई जस्ट मेड माय रिज्यूम इन दैट वे दैट इट शुड लुक लाइक uh means uh, i want to take the admission phd so i took the some of the nptel courses also mm-hmm. and uh, i tried to uh, i i did my project well because mm-hmm. sometimes it also happens that uh, students uh, makes the preparation during the mtech so they don't mm-hmm. uh, do, do the good projects because they just want to uh, clear the any of the exams psc mm-hmm. or gate exams or anywhere mm-hmm. but i would just want to go for the uh, teaching field and i mm-hmm. wanted to uh, grab the opportunity to get uh, to help that nit tech and uh, i just wanted to uh, uh, take the admission in top institutes of iit india mm-hmm. that's right. so so have you decided anything after uh, uh, phd what do you want to do what what area you want to explore uh i ju- i want to work in the uh, uh, welding department in the phd if mm. i get the chance but mm. uh, right now guide has not been selected yet because it's the first work is the course work but i'm open to work in any of the uh, mm. area regarding manufacturing welding metallurgy mm. or the tribology of the materials and mm. my uh, my uh, goal is to be a good professor in a good institute mm. or if i'll get a chance to get a post doctorate in future mm. so i i will also mm. so it bombay is a premium institute and uh, a, a pro- opportunity and a probability to get opportunity for post doctorate fellowship largely depends upon your research work in phd yes and i'm very sure aapko mil jayega post doctorate fellowship top universities mein and if you want to become faculty or something then post doctorate fellowship is a very good experience that is really good so you should target that and then you should uh, try to become uh, you know join some faculty somewhere and uh, one more thing parth i want to ask you is like is gate required for getting admission into phd after mtech no sir not at all uh, it's a very big confusion between the students it, it is actually a column in the form that you have to fill the uh, gate marks and it also written that valid gate score but if you have done mtech then you you don't require but your mtech and btech cgpa is uh, it's important if you have less uh, mtech cgpa then it will be a difficult for the student so cgpa jo 8 plus to hona chahiye right yes sir yes sir 8 plus mm-hmm. is the safe mm-hmm. i had 9.45 and uh, i did my uh, masters from mtech so it was quite easy for me but if you have done your masters from any of the university but if you are good project and you have 9 project. plus the cgpa or a good cgpa then it is uh, uh, it is same chance for the everyone to get the in a, uh, okay acha parth what professors check uh, in the interview the moment you get interview call jo aapko aayega that will be on the basis of your cgpa and all but the moment you go for interview professors will be uh, asking you certain things so what do you think what do they check and how do they select you first of all you have to be specific with your introduction in introduction you should at least tell your what your research interest and what what you have done in your mtech project mm-hmm. and then we they will first start in most of the department where i in i applied for they just start with the mtech project what you did so mm-hmm. at least you should be very informative with your projects mm-hmm. if you have done whatever you have done but you should know what what you have done mm-hmm. after that there are more, uh, more than 3 to 4 professor I means more, mostly 3 to 4 professors and mm-hmm. out of that four professors at least one uh, would be a fear domain and he mm-hmm. will mainly ask you the question and mm-hmm. but rest of the others will also ask you the question so basics of uh, mechanical engineering sh- you should know and maths mm-hmm. is very important in every iits even iisns also they ask the uh, maximum minima or uh, the, uh, derivatives or graphs mm-hmm. mainly mm-hmm. they ask for the graphs so i did my uh, that mistake in uh, uh, summer intake that i didn't know that maths is uh, that much important but i prepared for the maths also even i to guwahati also there are three rounds in both guwahati and bombay mm-hmm. but uh, in guwahati also they asked for the maths mm-hmm. so so you are saying that nptel lectures are relevant and important for interviews right 
somewhat if you are if your research interest is widely aligned with your okay. courses then it is very important at least you can tell that i have done this thesis so they will ask you then from that domain but if you don't have any uh, any extra things then they will ask you that what uh, uh, subjects you like and they will uh, that in that way there will be the interview Mm. so it it you it's you how you want to drive your interview if you have done something regarding research so you if you at least say that i have done these things so they will ask you from that so you have fair chances to answer that because you have done it hmm acha parth abhi ye third wave bhi chal raha hai india ke andar and it peak may hit and all so uh, are you going to have offline classes or online only no sir online uh, we are missing the campus but uh, online classes are going on Uh, mm-hmm. in maharashtra cases are uh, increasing exponentially mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. there is a online classes mm mm-hmm. as of no online classes are started yes. started yes sir they are started okay okay chalo parth now uh, let me thank you once again for this wonderful interactive session with you and let me wish you all the very best for academic journey ahead it's a very good decision you have taken best uh, institute in india you have reached and i'm very sure many milestone in future for you thank you so much sir and uh, you are doing very great work sir by helping the students through this your pdf platform and great for highly appreciate them thank you okay. sir thank you